Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're taking a look at the weekly reset. And as usual, there's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. First up, the Iron Banner is back and it's 6v6. We will be taking a closer look at that later. And on to the milestones. First up, the Daily Iron Banner. Complete three challenges in the Iron Banner, you get a reputation bundle. Up next, Clan XP. Earn Clan XP and Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. For what? Powerful gear. Leviathan. Defy the Cabal, Emperor, in the Leviathan Raid, or the Eater of World Raids Lair. For Powerful gear. Nightfall. Complete the weekly Nightfall Strike. For Powerful gear. Call to Arms. Win glory by participating in crucible matches. For more, powerful gear. Then the flashpoint is on IO. Complete public events on IO. For what? Powerful gear. Heroic strikes. Complete three heroic strikes. For powerful gear. Next, we're going to want to take a look at the raid. And the raid challenges are the Proving, complete every trial Callus has set before you. The Labyrinth, loot three of Callus's gifts in the underbelly of the Leviathan. The Gauntlet, discover the hidden victory condition in the Gauntlet Encounter. Then we move on to the Baby Raid, Leviathan Eater of Worlds. The raid challenges are Clean Sweep, clear each major encounter in the Leviathan Eater of Worlds raid lair. Moments of power. Generate orbs multiple times. The big numbers. Get precision kills. Moving on to the weekly nightfall, it's the arms dealer. The strike challenges, unbroken. Complete the nightfall with fewer than three deaths. Trash the thresher. Shoot down a thresher while fighting Brockus on. All right, let's take a quick look at what's going on in the Crucible. We have the usual stuff, quick play, nothing changed there. And we have Iron Banner. The game is Control, and it's 6v6, so that should be different. And then we have the usual competitive stuff. Now heading over to Ikora at the tower, let's see what her meditations are. Combustion, Hawthorne's waiting on the cliffs above the salt mines. Help her get the word out, we rally at the farm. Next meditation, meditation chosen. The Almighty is finished. Time to go home. Save the traveler, take back the city, and end this war. Be brave. Meditation, deep storage. Search the Pyramidian on Io for a map of the infinite forest to guide you to Panopti. All right, let's take a quick look at what Banshee has. The first few things never change. We have a weapon attack mod. I always stock up on those. Void class abilities, good, and a counterbalance mod for a uh, weapon recoil on your energy weapon. Those are always good to have. Moving on to Tess Everest and her inventory. She's got a new bundle package you can buy. Contains the exclusive nothing gold jump shit, jump shit, jump ship, 10 golden trace shaders, three gleaming boons of the vanguard, and one gleaming boon of the crucible. Oh, might be worth it for the ship. As for the rest, nothing really exciting. We have the Confused Emote. I like the emote, I rarely use it. The Floss Dance, not a bad emote, rarely use it. A 150 Sparrow, kind of pointless, but if you don't have one, there you go. Mainsail Royale, okay. Weapon Ornament for the Sturm, the Symbiosis, not bad. Weapon Ornament for the Skyburner's Oath, also not bad. Legs of Optimacy for the Titan. Remember, whatever character you show up with, it'll have for that, whether it's a Hunter, Warlock, Titan. Two of Diamonds Ghost Shell. If you need one, there it is. A shitty Ghost White Transmat effect. Dawn and Dusk for armor, not so much, but I like it for some ships and sparrows. Metro Shift, I use this for a lot of my weapons and my titan armor it just makes a great dark colored armor makes you harder to see while in the crucible fire team medallions can't do without them and these boons uh not interested normally kate is where i leave you 
But I forgot to go see the Iron Banner dude. So let's go see what Lord Saladin has to offer. A fine example of and as it turns out, I don't believe he has anything new. I think we've had this all before. I know we've had the next two things. I don't remember this, but maybe I do. But the other two items, the Oroman's Anvil, we've got. I used to use that a lot. And then the Orwing's Maul. It's a grenade launcher, so I'm, I don't use it. And that's it for the weekly updates. But if I've still got your attention and you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And did you know that unless you hit that notification bell next to the subscription button, you won't be notified as to when I upload any of my awesome videos. Okay, maybe not so awesome. Maybe that's a little strong. Let's go with slightly above average. And if we could get 1,187 likes on this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching.